another eagle, new eagle. We're gonna be doing an exclusive interview with this of man. Course, He's been on fire. Morning guys, another international break has just come around so quickly. I'm um, about to leave in a car to Heathrow. Uh, we've got an important game on Thursday against Central African Republic, another World Cup qualifier. And just before I'm leaving, I've got my sporty spies here with me. You're gonna say hello. Hi guys. Making a debut my YouTube today. Debut. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, about to leave for the airport, pack my bags, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with it. So I hope you enjoy this trip. Right, made it to Heathrow, got the bags. Full of stuff again for giveaway in Nigeria. So uh, yeah, excited to see the boys again. It's been about a month or so, but let's see what I can find first. Get checked in, get these bags dropped off, and then uh, find something to eat. You know what the drill is. And I think I have just found my first one. He tried to sneak up on me as well. If it's not the one and only, yeah, all I yeah, know. Yeah. Ola Aina, my brother. My daddy. Did you come in from Italy today? Yeah. No, right. yeah, yesterday, yesterday. Yesterday, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This GoPro is gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see who we can find next. And I found my next one, looking fresh as ever. It's King Echo. How are you saying, bro? You got me. How are you? I'm good, bro. I'm Leon Balogun, the king of rangers. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? My brother, I've missed this guy, man. Happy to me be with you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, Here we followers are. of Here we Mighty are. King Ekong. Look at that freshness, like always. <laughs> Fashion man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My boy, on, Joseph. He's here. <laughs> Fresh. Mm, we have no. Yeah, tell us, tell us, tell us, Joe. Who have we got here? My young boy, Calvin. That's it. Coming in from? Uh, Rangers. From Rangers, yeah, yeah. I heard a lot about Calvin. So he's here for us for the first time, straight onto the YouTube. You know how it goes. <laughs> Welcome to the team, first brother. Time. Thank you, brother. Thank enjoy, you, brother. enjoy. Right, we've got the squad here, about to get onto the flight. Come on. Everyone's here. The Rangers, man, oh, man, they're trying to. I know, the get Rangers are getting over us. Out. I'll do the thing, but Our number. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Italiano, noi siamo qua, noi siamo qua. Noi siamo qua. All right, so I'll show you guys when we get onto the flight, but the five boys are here, and uh, yeah, ready to go through security, and then onto the... What? Italian is Italian, but he can't speak it now. You can't speak it now. Yeah, because I moved on up. It's his first language. They've never been his first language, ever. But Calvin, when did you move? Time to get some lunch. Wagamama, this is our usual, usual. You left a five already. Our usual stop off, so we've got about an hour until takeoff. So I think we're playing with fire, but I reckon we can do it. Normal menu, vegan. Table for five, please. Normal menu. Normal menu is like extra. Firecracker. About to light me up. I know I'm going to be sweating after this, but it's the one. Wagamama's firecracker. Trust me to take the flipping spices thing on the menu as well, but it's pain time. God. Oh gosh, it's not me. Yeah, you want to Thank you. What is that? Are you still you pick, the chicken? Let me keep the change, Leon. <laughs> Can you put your thing on? I've been too long and it shouldn't take At the gate, we're going to try and get the last downloads in. Squid Game. Tell me what you're saying about Squid Game. No, I've just finished it yesterday. Uh, it's good. Don't tell me, I've only watched it up to three. Of so a little bit the whole concept kind of turned into an idea but you recommend it yeah watch it it's a good watch definitely a good watch Keeps have you, you, have you seen it Ola? yeah if I'm, i finished the thing and you know for me it's, it's, it's is it a must must watch yeah man watch it in the actual audio or in the korean man, in the korean thing man yeah all right it's also like making yeah, love you all the same way that I Right guys, we're at the gate now. Flight has been delayed until 3 p.m. So the way that I just inhaled my firecracker yeah, was for no reason. <laughs> I'm here with, <laughs> with Calvin Bassi, Rangers, new boy, first call up. So tell us what you think about it, bro. Nah, obviously it's an honor. It's what you always want to do, you know what I'm saying? You always want to play at the highest level, so. 21, young. Yeah. Yeah, so much. tell us, man, you're playing at Rangers now. What's it been like? Oh, it's amazing. 55,000 every week is just crazy. Yeah. Yeah, you, have nice. you been have you been to Nigeria often? Often? No, I've only been I've only been since eleven. <laughs> yeah, <he's laughs> the the <laughs> <She's what laughs> so you've only been last time was when you were eleven? Eleven months old. Eleven, 11 months, months old. <laughs> wow. Oh. So it doesn't count. Nah, this is count. this is gonna be a whole new experience. Nah, he's gonna be good man. So welcome to the family anyway, man. So what are you gonna sing for us? <laughs> Have you prepared oh, something? Yeah, I've been I've been banging one song now. Yeah. yeah? What, so, what song is it? Perry. 
Okay, but <laughs> say it with your chest, bro. What song is that? Peru. Peru, all right. So I'm looking forward to that. I'll make sure I get all of that for you guys to see as well. So Calvin Bassi, 21, Rangers, new boy in the block. Look forward to seeing him make his debut. 3 p.m. flight's finally about to leave and I found another eagle, new eagle. To be fair, he's already made his debut, Frank the Tank. Frank the Tank. He's, to be fair, he's my enemy normally because Brentford, Watford, but I'm happy that's going to be part of our team this trip. So, welcome back, Frank the Tank. Thank you, thank you. Nice one, bro. <laughs> Why are you called Frank the Tank? Because they smash. Because <laughs> he smashes people. He started in Denmark already, and now he, he hasn't been able to, to to shake it. So Frank the Tank. Anybody needs to get smashed. That's the man. Definitely not 120. More like 3 p.m. Oh, we're getting used to Nigeria already. Real Nigerian timing. Yeah. You came in snow. You paid for my life. Finally seated, and of course, I am next to all I know, the main man. We you know what the good thing about this flight is if I get bored of him, I'm just gonna hit that. <laughs> Ciao, fratello. No, I'm just kidding. My G. Alright, ready for takeoff now. Finally, and then we'll see you in six hours, Lagos. Made it. It is yeah. now 10 p.m. Yeah. 28 degrees. Yeah. Still wearing a hoodie, my yeah. boy. And you can see the letters. Welcome to Nigeria. Feels good to be back home to be fair, but it's been a long old day. Make sure we get the bags now through security and then off to the hotel fast fast. Oh we finally made it. Boys getting out and know to self when you're landing in Lagos, do not wear grey. I've been sweating like crazy. Well, happy to be back, finally in the hotel. I'll give myself 15 minutes, then I'm gonna try and get into bed because I'm absolutely knackered. So uh, yeah, see you guys in a bit. 9 a.m. in Lagos, good morning everyone. Look at that view, we've got the tennis courts down there, we've got the hotel swimming pool. And don't be fooled by these clouds because it's still hot. It is 28 degrees. We've got a busy day, uh, first day in camp, We've got a double session straight away. So we're gonna to go to breakfast in a minute, make sure that we fuel up. I'm dressed to impress, the usual. And we've got a gym session in the morning. And we've got lunch, we've got meeting, and then we've got pitch session in the stadium. Today's gonna to be the last day of some serious work because tomorrow's already the day before the game. Um, so I'm gonna take you guys through it. Let's go and get some breakfast, come on. How are you? How are you, bro? Nice on this. Alpha, bro. Welcome, yeah. Chill. Alpha, bro. Good to see you, bro. Morning, my name. Hey, how are you, bro? Yeah? Morning, 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 morning. Right, guys, it is now 9 o'clock, first day in camp. Excited to see everyone. Got, to, got my best attire on again, you know what it is. So, yeah, training day today. And uh, yeah, looking forward to sharing as much as I can. Morning, morning, how are you? Okay. Beautiful day in Lagos. Amazing. 28 degrees, that's a change. Time to get weighed in. Moment of truth. Ready? 90.9. I'll take that and I'll take 0.5 off as well for the GoPro. So uh, happy for that. All good, ready to have some breakfast. Hey guys. Life. How are you? Yeah, nice. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good, thank you. So we've got our daily program, breakfast, training, and then we've got a meeting, and then we've got another training session at four. So let me show you guys what we've got for breakfast today. We've got some salad that is definitely not for me today. We've got some cereal, some porridge, some mushroom. <laughs> we've got some scrambled eggs, the pancakes. We've got the fruits and the bread station. Usual stuff. Definitely got to be pancakes for me again today, and uh, maybe a little omelette. This is my breakfast again today. Some pancakes, some pineapple, beautiful sunshine in Lagos. Can't get much better than that. Good morning, madam. Can I get some eggs, please? Uh, two eggs, please. This is my special combination. Some onion, some tomatoes. Can I get some cheese as well, please? And uh, just a little, little touch of ma Maggie, please. That's the secret ingredient right there. 
Thank you, madam. In a way, those recipes, I mean, it's not actually get something to the body. Okay, man, he likes the eggs that way too, no? Thanks to these wonderful staff for my wonderful omelette. Thanks, guys. See you later. Second round, sorted omelette. Round, round two. Ah, lovely. Look who I found, the one and only. How far, bro? Nice to see you again. We're bro. gonna be doing an exclusive interview with this of man. He's been I'm on ready. fire. I'm on ready. fire. Our goal scorer. And I'm with the most expensive African player of all time in our team. 80 million he went for last summer. And uh, yeah, just to give you a backstory, this is a boy who's been working unbelievably hard. I'm so proud of him, part of you, even to be part of his team. And uh, yeah, I wanna give you some a bit more background and let him tell his own story. So here we've got Victor Osimen. The Napoli star. How are yes. you, bro? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, man. So I just wanted to ask you, so obviously tell us about your transfer last year, being the most expensive African player of all time. How did that feel? It was good. Uh, it just started like a dream, you know, um, boyhood dream from the from the slum. Just uh, wanting to become a professional player, yeah. inspired by a lot of, um, a lot of great legends like uh, the Drogba, Odin Gaio, Mikel Odin, and the rest. And I feel like to be able to achieve this feast is one of my, my biggest achievements of life. And I'm, and I'm really grateful to God for that. Yeah, man, and you're just getting started. So obviously, to give you guys a, a, a backlog of the story, so Vic, when I met him, I think the first time we really spent time together was in the AFCON in 2019. We had Odi Nagalo in front of him and uh, he was one player who was always like 100% in training. Me and Vic were fighting because, <laughs> yeah, he wanted to play, he wanted to play. And I remember Odi and saying to him, you know, take your time, um, you're going to get your chance. And uh, yeah, now we're two years later and, and, and the development he's made has been unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I can't be more proud of him and just of his story as well, because you were in Lagos seven years ago. Selling water in traffic. This is a true story, no? Of course, it's true. It's a true story. So, um, yeah, tragedy. I'll let you talk to, talk about it yourself. So, talk about it. How has that been with your your, your sister, your brother? How you how you were brought up here in Lagos? Talk, talk to us about that. You know, I think um, most most uh, people familiar when I when I say this because the the country even worse than than mine, and where I grew up is. Uh, Nothing is promised there because you have to, whatsoever you want to get, you have to work so hard for it. I remember while I was growing up, I was, um, you know, was cleaning the, the gutter for um, 20 naira, you know, for my for my landlord, may so rest the peace. I do some some linen job for for my neighbors yeah. close to my house wow. to, to fetch water for them for 18 naira, I think. And I find pleasure in doing these things because yeah. I, I I believe that. When I work so hard to, to get this money, it's so important for me, and and I and I have some kind of uh, I'm cautious how I how I um, spend this money, and I help my family also with it. Yeah. And um, while growing up, my brother was selling selling a newspaper. My sister's oranges, and me, I'll be I'll be on the on the traffic border, and I have to chase the chase, chase the cars, chase the cars to give wow. them water to get the the money to give them back the change. And everything like that. And I feel like this, this, these struggles have really helped me in life, and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for where, for where I am today because uh, what I've been through has really shaped me into the man I am today, and I'm really grateful to God for that. Yeah, that's an amazing story because uh, anyone who's been in Lagos and you see the kids in traffic, and obviously everybody has a story, but this story from, from you know, from where you come from, from the gutter to you know, to glory, and just getting started now, 22, yeah. 22 is going to be 23 in December. And uh, yeah, he's got the whole world at his feet. So I'm so proud to have this guy on my team. I think he's going to score so many goals. If anybody needs to know, we've got Big Paul, Paul that <laughs> We've got Victor. We've got so many players, Kelechi players that can score goals for us. And uh, yeah, the future for Nigerian football is so bright. Um, but I just wanted to share his story with you guys because it's inspirational. And uh, like I said, I couldn't be more proud of him. So on top of that, guys, we've got a special giveaway. So Vic brought us something. Show us what you brought for us today. Of course, about the new... Uh... Napoli uh, Jesse with EA and Pedro Armani. Love that. Jesse is really nice. I really love it. So, uh, anyway, guys, this is going to be a <laughs> major chance to win that. So, thanks, guys. This is not for me. I wish I'd be keeping this. I'm going to get Vic to sign this, and you guys can win this shirt. All you have to do is get into the comments below and um yeah and let us know what you think about about vic because for me he's a hero what a story he's had and like he said like comment subscribe and you get a chance to win this signed shirt original shirt so uh yeah thanks very much brother You're it's welcome. been an absolute pleasure Very and i wish you all the best man god bless you gym session done sit down with victor done and before i go i really want to just recap his story because i really want you guys to take in um how amazing it is 
such a sad tragedy losing both of his parents and being out there in Lagos somewhere selling water in traffic chasing after the cars for the change to going on to becoming the most expensive African football player of all time for 80 million euros I just feel inspired that's all I can say I just feel so inspired and um, yeah for anyone else who's feeling that way you have a chance of winning this shirt amazing shirt he's gonna sign it for me all you have to do is get into the comments below and let us know how Victor has inspired you his story how it's touched you and we'll be choosing one lucky winner to win this signed Victor Osim and Napoli shirt match one as well so yeah get in the comments below and you'll be winning this Lunch time and I'm always happy if we're eating and I found Uncle K hey, and I like Capitano well. he likes food as well and Luca just made it to camp the birthday boy and I got something for you 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 what have you got? <laughs> Kele, happy birthday thank brother you, thank you bro thank you bro yeah thank you, thank more you. goals more happiness more Amen. health Amen. thank you thank he's you. gonna score some more now for us as well aren't you? of course, of course he's of course. the main man Kele, some left, got some goals left yeah? got some goals left yeah. he's the man we got some fried rice, we have some stew, we got some coconut rice, and we got some fish, and we got all of that smothered with a bit of atta, a bit of spice in there. If it doesn't burn, I'm not gonna be eating it. I need it spicy. 10 past four, team meeting done, and onto the team bus of the training. Pascal Patrick, yeah, this, M O N. Yeah, the coordinator. You didn't say the it, man. coordinator. Yeah, thank you very much. This is my guy. I Strong love it. guy. You used to play. When did you play for the Super Eagles? Yeah, 96 Olympics. You know. Our ex player, now team ex coordinator, ex international, yeah. M O N. <laughs> my guy. I'm in the big leagues. Tony don't miss me. Balling like Houston. Hey, feeling like Whitney. I need a bag, bro. Send it too quickly. I'm making his dog. Like I'm in the big leagues, told him that I gotta go, dawg I'm riding the road, y'all, I think that I'm back in my bag now So I need that go, y'all, got hits when he throwing the fastball Just too quick for it, peeling off like the whip orange Seen the effort, this piss poor, I got too much, I gotta tend to Car payments in the rent due, told y'all that I'm six foot But with the money stabbing, I'm ten to Too much that I've been through, so I put it all in that rear view Clean money in a black whip, got old problems with the friends new Yeah, I'm in the big leagues Told him don't miss me. New change room in that. <laughs> Tom, Tom, you're gonna leave it a different way. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's that one. One each. Get some sugar in before the training session. Deserving not the hundred fans. Told him this was always in the plans. Training time again. We're back in the lovely stadium. Kevin, how are you, bro? Welcome back to Lagos. Look at this, look at all these people waiting for us. They're gonna wanna know what's on this GoPro, but... Truth and the GoPro, you heard it there. You know, Mono, you know. And look at this pitch. It's not looking too bad. Kevin, what do you think about the pitch today? A lot of grass. He's happy to see a lot of grass here in Nigeria and Lagos. It's not looking too bad at all. It's not bad coach, yeah? So I'm ready to do a serious training session. Yes. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys after. I'm in. Don't got no heart, I got an ice box. Ran a roller, swap out the G shot. Moving slowly out of the street. <laughs> no more double, go ahead and detox. Yeah, yeah. Came from the trenches, they ain't showing us no love. Dagging in the city, all we wanted was a hug. Yeah. We on the block like every night to catch a buzz. Get the cash and tell my family out of the hood, that's a must. Was a hood baby with no soldiers. Bad past never left my mind, it's taking over. No, I should have died, that's why it's hard to stay sober. Glad to see the sun, but my heart getting colder. Life's so crazy, what we been through. Good session done, as you can tell, it was already dark. It was a good hour and a half. Now time to get changed, get back on the bus and back to the hotel. It's been a hard day's work. Tomorrow, tactical session, and then we go on to the game on Thursday. So good work, boys. It is that time again. My man, my what, man. What are you getting? Soup. We get some soup, what else have we got? We have some white rice, that is our chicken. Pasta bolognese. And some more beef, fried rice, potatoes, fish, and barbecue chicken, I think. We've got some cakes. And Vic is helping himself already. You know how it goes. You have to be first. First everything. And the usual, nobody's touching this bread tonight, but time for some dinner. 
It's dinner time. We've got some chicken. We've got some more chicken in the stew. Rice, potatoes. Got a little bit of spice on there. The atta. It's going to burn my mouth. And we've got some soup as well for starter. I'm going for the soup today, Ola. What are you getting today? Uh, chicken and fish. Rice and that time. That looks balanced. Yeah. Guys, we've got a few laps. Hard day today, innit? Right, guys, so I've just finished dinner, gone down to the reception, and I've found the one and only Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stylish man, what are you wearing today? Yeah, I'm wearing a native captain. Native wear? Yeah, captain. 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 Yeah. Captain. Yeah. It's made by your dear son, so, Daniel. Yeah. How are you? Right, sir. And what are you wearing? You got some, uh, these things are Christian Dior's, Dior Christian, <laughs> Christian, I don't know. Dior's. Yeah, 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 exactly. nice. And so you brought your son of you here today, Daniel, and who else have you brought? Your nephew. And I've heard your nephew is a very, very talented artist. He uses charcoal and paper and he's made something special for me today, so. Guys, let me show you what he has made. Look at that. Look at the detail of that. That's unbelievable. <laughs> I think that looks like me as well, so uh, that's unbelievable. So in return for that, I've got something special for you as well. You're welcome. He's very talented. You're working. How long have you been working on that? Uh, two days. Two days. So um, it's the least I could do. So I really appreciate you. And I'm sure you've got some amazing future ahead of you, man. Very talented. Nice one. Thank you. Good morning, guys. It is match day minus one, nine o'clock. I've just sat down for my breakfast. I'm with Leon Balagun. And he's... Good morning. Kevin Akpoguma. Morning. Welcome back to the team, oh, yeah. my brother. Thank you. He just came back, had some injuries, but he's been with us before. So, um, yeah, and it's breakfast time. Today we've got breakfast, we've got the COVID test, then we've got press conference and um, lunch, and then we've got a light training session. So it's uh, not too hard today. Getting ready for the big game tomorrow. And I bet you can guess what I'm having for breakfast today. Pancakes and pineapple up. You know, the only change today is that we've got an egg as well. So. Leon, on the other hand, is having, his, is having his birthday meal. <laughs> Happy birthday, Leon. No, I'm yes, just kidding, but he's going for it today. So, um, fueling up today and then getting ready for tomorrow. So, I've just arrived to get my COVID test got done. And I'm here with the crew, the COVID crew. Who's going to be testing me today? <laughs> Madame, wow, you look like you're ready for a lab test. <laughs> so, it's going to be my turn in a minute. Right, it's my turn. And I've been told that she's going to be going gentle, so we're going to see about this. <coughs> Finish. Yeah. Thank you. No. Thank you. <laughs> Woo. Huh? Was she, she was gentleish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Last formality. I've just been summoned to come back to the restaurant. As you can see, Baba, our media officer here, has set up our virtual press conference today. So we've got the sponsors. This is where I'm going to be sitting soon. <laughs> yeah, and he's the man. You'll be sitting right here. I'll be sitting right there, speaking yeah. to the press. Yes. So if you ever wonder what that looked like when you see all these sponsors in the back, it will just be literally me and a little laptop here. So <laughs> that's how we're doing in COVID times. Quarter past five, we just finished our meeting and uh, off to the stadium for our last training session, tactical session. Yeah. Joe, what are you looking at your phone today? You got any quizzes for us? Today I ain't got nothing. He's got nothing. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, ready for our session. Well, yes, um, this is the King Ekong and Jua <laughs> So what's our what kind of <laughs> This is what? King Ekong, what about me? Just Jua Alright, off to the stadium, that catch you guys in a bit. It's our driver, silly man. He stepped out to go to the toilet and now his boy has got the wheel and we're off. <laughs> Uncle K hey, my brother. and Daddy Simon Jetpack, play, play of the month last month at Nantes. Guy P of Watford. No, no, no. Yeah. Big player, big, big player. Jet Why do they call you Jetpack? See your fans, see your fans, see your fans. Why do they call you Jetpack? I say I'm faster. Yeah, because you're well, too I fast. Know. I don't know. Jetpack. I don't know. Daddy Jetpack. Last training session, tactical session, and uh, yeah, on the pitch for an hour. And then we're going to be ready for the big game tomorrow. How's the pitch looking? We're out here. 
Chido Aba GM, looking good. Looking good. Looking wonderful. Ready for tomorrow. Hey Amen. That's the guy right there. Unfortunately, we have Big Paul injured. But you know what? That's gonna be your favor because he's gonna be filming for King A Kong now. So <laughs> of course, of here course. you go. Enjoy that. <laughs> Tradition always after the last training session, team picture. Cal, how's it been? First couple of sessions. Loved it, I loved it. Enjoyed it? Yeah. Intensity been a lot. Been hard. Quality players, so you know, you've got to step up your game and try to give a bit. You've as done well. well, mate. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Finish. How are you? Nice one. Love it. The young Victor Ossie men, next generation. 8.45, dinner time. Well, we got mandem. I'm seeing jollof rice. Eh? Jollof rice. We got some fish. We have some potted jam. We got some stew on there. Some jollof rice and some plantain. And as you can see, these plates are looking very, very loaded. Mado's already been here for five minutes, so it's just come down a little bit now. But yeah, to be fair, it's been eight hours since lunch, and all of us are starving. So dinner time, and then we're gonna have one singer here. Ah, he's gonna lose his appetite now. He's gonna dance as well. So I'm looking forward to that. You guys are gonna enjoy that with me. See you guys in a minute. Some volume, volume. Aha. Waiting for the job to pay. If only men we pay. If only men we pay. Frank the Tank. My money, my body, now you're oh, oh baby. Ah, 30 billion for the young girl to you. No, do, no, do, no, do. No. Just finished dinner. As you can tell, all the boys were in high spirit. That was the real Niger spirit that you've just seen there. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the build up, seeing me travel from London to Lagos, the training that we've done. And of course, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification button because the next video is gonna to be tomorrow's match day vlog against the Central African Republic. And get in the comments below for a chance to win Victor Osimens signed Napoli shirt. So get in the comments below, let us know why you wanna win that shirt and we're gonna be choosing one lucky winner. So thanks guys for tuning in. Nigel know the Gary last. Uh, I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message on me, ain't no flexing on me. My attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my success has only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money, the power, respect, and I heard you know so and so, you not a threat, cause I really